This is a really beautiful 15 minute, very short in sequence, but guaranteed to alleviate any stress, tension or anxiety it can be done at work or at home or even after school. Enjoy. Just firstly, starting in a seated position, uh, preferably setting on a pillow, a block or a cushion, and we are just simply going to breathe. So taking an inhale and an exhale, just letting go of your day. It's, it's not relevant anymore. So we're going to breathe from the belly. This particular breath I'll share with you stimulates our vagus nerve, which connects our gut and our brain. And we tell our nervous system that we are safe and that we are okay. And we return our nervous system from a state of fight flight into our ventral vagal circuit, our social engagement. So just exhaling this last amount of air. And we are going to Take a big deep breath in, belly, rib cage, and then lungs, and hold at the top here. And then exhale, lungs, rib cage, and belly, and hold at the bottom. Inhale, belly expands, rib cage expands, and lungs expand, hold. And then exhale, deflate the lungs, deflate the rib cage, and deflate the belly. Just go for a few more rounds, fully breathing in a sense of newness of landing into this moment. And as you exhale, you have permission to let go of your day, right? So on your inhale, breathe in the words, I am safe. And exhale the words, I choose to let go of and let something go. I invite you to take one more full breath in here and a really beautiful open mouth exhale, just land and let go. So you give yourself this time and this space to, to pause, to take a rest and to reset. We cannot pour from an empty cup and for us to give back to another person, we must be able to give back to ourselves and that's when we can offer a full love full compassion full kindness to another human being so placing your hands on your heart and honoring you and saying thank you for your body your vehicle and choosing to look after it for when you look after your body you are saying yes to receiving to yes to abundance yes to love welcome it in because you are so deserving of this Let's slowly come off our bolster as we come into our first yin shape. Now, please know that if you don't have a bolster, you can just use a cushion. Use what you have. Uh, this particular shape is one of my favorites. Coming into dragonfly, it's a wide leg forward fold. And if you need a variation of this, I recommend just using the wall and allowing yourself to lie on your back and let your legs go up the wall and straddle out so your legs are held by the wall. If not, you'll be using a bolster or some sort of prop to just find your way into this forward fold. Now, the most important thing to do here is to relax. You'll notice that I'm not squeezing any muscles whatsoever. On my inhale, I'm finding expansion and on my exhale, just using whatever props you need to not force, but to land into your version of a forward fold. And um, as many of you know, in, in yin yoga, it's really important to just come in at your edge, which is about 50%. And when you reach that edge, it's not about trying to find a deeper position. It is literally about landing and then breathing and being as still as possible so that we can work within the connected tissue, the fascia and the joints. 
So just enjoy this space and come back to your breath that we practiced at the start. Taking one more breath in, stay for your exhale. Engage your belly and chin to chest and very, very, very slowly. So you ripple up your spine, start to come to a seated position in time and there's no rush. As we slowly start to transfer into a little bit of hip mobility here. So feet hip distance apart, hands behind, an internal and external rotation of the hips. For more on your hips, I've got plenty of other videos on my channel. I'll link one below. We are never designed to sit in chairs uh, and wear shoes that are not made for our feet. So please feel free to check out those foot strength and knee strength videos. Go a couple more here, just enjoying this space in the hips and maybe your neck even moves side to side. Slowly taking the time to venture into our neck shape as we move into this space. Um, this is incredible for anyone who sits in chairs. So I've slid the bolster just, uh, just above my lumbar spine. So I do not have it on my lumbar. And what I go, you can see better from this angle. And what I want to do here is um, either come into the position I just did before with the bolster going along, or if you have the space, place the bolster right across the upper back where the scapula is and let the head rest on something. Now, if your head doesn't touch the ground, super important to place something underneath the head and let the arms go out to a Y. If not, come back to the first shape with the bolster going along and rest your hands either on your belly or by your side. Coming into reclined butterfly pose. This is the opposite of sitting in chairs and of course using phones. Breathe. Stay and enjoy. All right, I know you probably want to stay for a bit longer, and please do if you wish, but take one more full breath in. 
Oh, and then exhale out very slowly. If your head was back like mine, support your head with your hands and ridiculously slowly start to come up. Draw your knees together and roll to your side in a fetal position and just pause. Take a breath in and a breath out, hoping you're feeling as good as I was at this point here. Maybe you've noticed your nervous system already start to change and settle. What a beautiful experience. Slowly just bringing yourself up now and we're going to bring this last pose to the wall. Such a great way to reset the nervous system as we let the blood now flow from the feet down the legs and into the internal organs, heart, lungs and brain. Let your legs just float up the wall here, hands on your rib cage, belly or by your side and just breathe. Just a few more breaths here. This particular shape is one of the best ones before bed, especially combined with breath work when we get the blood to the brain. Such a simple way to reset our nervous system. When you're ready, bring your hands above your head, bend the knees and in a sort of process of five breaths, start to just drop your knees to one side and just slowly, slowly allowing yourself to Roll to one side and just pause here in gratitude. Every single day when we wake up, we should be saying thank you to our bodies, right? This vehicle, how we treat it, how we talk to it, the things we do for it are entirely up to us. So slowly take a moment to take a seat and just feel into how amazing it is to be you right now. So turn the corners of your mouth up, take a few breaths in that space of gratitude for yourself, for setting aside the time to fill your cup and put yourself first so that you can then fully give back to another. Take a full breath in, full breath out, place your hands on your heart, say thank you to yourself. Thank you for the choice you just made to pause so that you can interrupt those hardwired patterns of reactivity and choose again. So much love. Remember, as always, to watch your language.